Hey, 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 I'm so glad you guys came. Check out this great review of a Miss Great unit. This is one of their newest units, and I'm gonna show you how I styled it and how well it ended up blending. So watch it, share it, all that good stuff. See you in a second. Welcome to Orbit Stephanie. I have another wig review, and this one is one of the newest products for Miss Great. Miss Great is here to please us. Thank you so much for answering for the call because a lot of us have asked for a uh, half wig and we love the half wig and all the different textures that they have that they're offering and they're continuing to build their line with uh, textures, different textures in their half wigs and also different color schemes, you know, so different variations of gray, the black, the off brown and even some reds. I've seen that they're starting to move with some reds. So that's lovely, but this product is actually for the texture that is coily and the hair length is 16 inches. I have a feeling this is gonna be leaning towards the 51 color uh, scheme. So, and then underneath it has a little bit of a darker, uh, I love this, how they do the darker pattern underneath. But for my hair, especially the way mine is graying, I'm a bit more gray in the front and then I have more sparse grays, not even, really not even this much, but well, maybe it is pretty close to this, but I, I love how, for the most part, let's see how well this blends with my hair. I haven't tried it on officially yet. I wanted to save it for my initial review and I also wanted to show you all how I care for it. Now, normally I would do a complete wash you know, completely wet it, put the products in, uh, you know, and go buy the guide, the guide that they give you when you buy the booklet. This explains all the, all the tips and ways and types of products to use for their units. Whatever comes with your unit, go ahead and take a few minutes to invest in yourself and your product and uh, read the information because this silver hair, to get this hair gray and silver, the process that it goes through on the real human hair, this is real human hair, you guys, uh, the process that they go through is, is quite harsh. I mean, this is just kind of what we have, you know, to change the texture of it and the color of it. That is asking a lot of human hair, okay? So, but needn't worry, uh, as their technology and techniques and um, customizations and feedback from us gets to them, they will continue to make better and better products. But we've come a long way, I'm telling you, from those of us that are graying our hair, are, are becoming gray, and we want to enjoy our gray hair, we've come a long way because it used to be just like this kind of very, very senior seasoned older ladies. And some of us don't want that look, okay? Especially when we still have another 20 or 30 years to get to that category. So so this, I am very gracious for uh, Miss Great, for them investing in their technology, bettering it, and taking in our feedback and stuff like that. So that's pretty awesome. I have wetted some, this is not completely dry. And I just have water in here. You'll find me shaking it because that's just a habit of mine. But I'm just gonna wet it up a little bit more. I don't want it too wet because as you see, I have my shoulders out and it's a little bit overcasty like today. So I'm really not in the mood to be too cold and having wet hair on me. So I put a little bit of leave-in conditioner. This is a coconut oil. This is by Miracle Moisture, or actually it's by African Pride. So this is just something I had left over. Nothing super spectacular special about it for my normal hair texture for my hair. Uh, but it's just something I just product junkie. And now the products that, especially if they don't really work that well on my own hair, I save them for my units. So now what I'm doing is I'm raking through it very carefully. You will lose some hair in the, in the coily for sure. I'm gonna tell you right now, so please don't expect that it's gonna be, uh, you know, no hair shed. You will lose some, but you can minimize that by being very careful as you handle the hair and only handle it mostly when it's really wet. 
when it has the moisture on it, the water on it, that's the best time to handle it. Otherwise, it will start to frizz out. The, the casting and the curls will start to frizz out more and more, which sometimes that look is, might be what you want. But those of us with the coiled hair, we definitely have to be very careful. You heard it from Orbit Stephanie that uh, I'm telling you, you will lose some hair shedding with the coily uh, units with Miss Gray. So, but I don't know that you'll find that any other company out there that's trying to cater to the, the natural brain community uh, that hasn't mastered still with human hair. I don't know uh, of any other company, but I'm just letting you know that with gentle care and proper care of the hair and patience, uh, you will you will enjoy your unit, but don't think that you will not get some shedding. See, I'm getting some uh, right now. And if I took, I don't want to take the comb to it so much because it's not completely wet. So I don't want to, um, you know, open it up too much. I don't want it to be at risk of getting more tangles. So I'm just going to do what you see me do. I don't want it any wetter because I don't want it the wet hair on my shoulders because it's cold. It's kind of, it's not cold, but it's, it's fall. I think it's fall. It's gotta be fall. Yeah, it's fall. <laughs> this should be good enough. Now remember, this is a half wig and this is what the band, see what the band looks like. Uh, and that part just kind of, it covers up. My hair, my natural hair that I have leave out for is going to cover up all that and hopefully blend in really well. So, and you can see how the band is. Let me go ahead and take it off of here so you can get a better look. So it's nicely made, very, oh, this is very strong and nicely made. I love the construction of it. And then we have, you know, you have your combs and you have your strap and, uh, and that should be good enough. That should get, get you where you need to be. And then we have also this drawstring. You can pull to tighten. So, really good. All right. This is my hair. This is a week old uh, wash. And I just did a little protective style. And I have my little, it, this is the hair that I'm going to take out for, for, um, for this unit. So I'm gonna take a little bit of oil and this is Oplex number seven bonding oil. So putting a little bit of oil on here. So when I take it down, it will hopefully not be very frizzy or, or break on me. At least this little part right here matches very good. The curl pattern. Oh. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm trying to not to manipulate it too much so I can maintain my curl pattern as best as I can and save, save the manipulation to when it's time to blend it in, blend it into the uh, unit. So this is my hair. Just curious. What do y'all think of that so far? It seems like that is going to be a good blend. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, so I'll just make sure this hair back here is kind of tucked in. And I'll place the first comb in right in the center. And then there's, there are combs on the side. And there's a comb in the rear. And so I'm gonna tighten this drawstring up that's back here. Oh, let's see it. I'm gonna tighten up this drawstring and then tuck it here. I don't need to tighten it up more. It's 
pretty secure just with the combs. I do like that feeling. It feels very secure. And now, even like this, you can see how it is blending. It's, it's a nice blend. And my curl pattern from the braid out, it seems to be matching it very well. And so now, let me see how I can manipulate it a bit to get it to blend in. So because I want to minimize handling it too much, I'm going to see what can I do with my fingers as far as trying to blend it in, make it work itself in. Because my hair, when I put products on it, if I put water on it, especially, it's going to lose its curl. Oh, it's looking really natural. I can see that, wow, this is, oh wow, it blends in naturally. Look, I want you to get a good look at it and see how I didn't need much perimeter hair out, you know, at all. So now this is very basic and probably what will naturally happen is the hair will naturally start kind of coming forward, you know, and not just back, all the way straight back. I know my hair is gonna go. It's a little bit more, yeah, it's got more of a, okay, so now it's falling more naturally where it, where it wants to. It's finding its own space. So let me finish getting ready, put some face on, and then I'll be right back. Thank mm -hmm. you. 